With a song in my heart, the story of men and their music, of composers who really had a song in their heart. I don't have to tell you the title of that song, you know. A hit in the year 1913. A bigger hit in the year 1948. Its composer, the unpredictable, eccentric, and yet one of the most loved characters in Tin Pan Alley's history, Fred Fisher. Yes, and what a man. He was born in the German city of Cologne in 1875. When a young and ambitious young fellow of 24, he said to a friend, Kern, I tell you something. Fisher, anything you tell me would not be worth repeating. Ach, that's what they all say here in Cologne. That means that in Cologne, they know you. Oh, do they? What do you mean, Frederick? No, Dicks, except I tell you, Carl. What? I leave Cologne tomorrow. Hmm, where to go? Munich? No, I go further. Uh, Berlin, maybe? No, I go to... The United States, America. America? You go far, Frederick. What will you do? What I do, it does not interest me. But it will interest other people. You know, Frederick, you do most things bad. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's why I leave Cologne. But America? Who knows? Frederick, you talk nonsense. Let's go and quaff the Stein of Pilsner, eh? Nein! To America! Tomorrow, I go. And sure enough, he did. To eventually become one of the USA's most colorful citizens. He landed in Chicago in the year 1900, per cattle boat. Not an auspicious beginning, but in 1906, he turned songwriter and wrote a big hit when coon songs were the rage. Its title, If the Man in the Moon Were a Coon. Would you do? He would fade with his shade, the silvery moon, 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 away from you. No roaming round the park at night, no spooning in the bright moonlight. If the man in the moon were a coon.
silvery moon Moon, moon Away from you No roaming round the park at night No spooning in the bright moonlight If the man in the moon were a coon This song was an instantaneous hit. Naturally enough, folk wanted to know more about its composer, who had Americanized his name to simply Fred Fisher. Mr. Fisher, I simply adore your song here. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's one of those songs that makes me... Since it was a hit, it does that to me too, Nein. <laughs> yes, I guess so. But tell me, Mr. Fisher, did you learn music in Germany? Oh, nein, nein. I learned music in one lesson. Learned music in one lesson? How? I learned to play music in one lesson from a Negro piano player. From a Negro piano player? In one lesson? Yeah, that is all. And believe it or not, Fred Fisher always claimed that remark was correct. Frankly, Particularly in view of his later success, Broadway was skeptical. But nevertheless, Fred Fisher always stated that that was the way it was. Another hit tune was to follow. Folk were getting to know the meaning of flying in those times, and Fisher was quick to cash in on the new craze. He gave us the song, Come Josephine in My Flying Machine. Come Josephine in my flying machine, go. She goes up, she goes Balance yourself like a bird on a beam in the air She goes up, she goes up, up Music or not in one lesson, Fred Fisher realized mighty quickly that in songwriting he'd found his true metier, and a very financial one too. So, what did he do? He went into the publishing business. And how? The only difference was... What? Fisher was something apart. As other publishers got their hits and made money, they, most of them at least, got a little upstage. If they got into the money... They became somewhat... Uh, threw their weight about, maybe? No. With one or two exceptions, I wouldn't say that. No, they... Well, most of them tried to live up to their newfound wealth. Became more appreciative of the arts, their appearance, their correctness. And Fred Fisher? Boy, <laughs> he was unique. He never changed. Except that his English, which was never very good... What happened? Became worse and worse. He could murder it faster than anyone I knew. Uh, another Sam Goldwyn. No, sir. Sam Goldwyn must have taken lessons from Fred Fisher. Maybe he did in the execration of the King's English, but not in music. Oh, no. For Fisher turned out some really colorful melodies. Such a one was his song, When You Know You're Not Forgotten.
By this time, we were getting into the Irish and Scotch song period. Strangely enough, those folk, the Irish and the Scots, who migrated to so many distant lands from the spot of their birth, always seemed to want to sing of their homeland. Well, this, of course, applies to most people who possess a love of their motherland. But with the Irish and the Scots, everyone got nostalgic about the songs they loved to sing. And what's more, they bought them in large quantities. Fred Fisher didn't miss this point. Oh, no. He followed the lead and gave us, and this from a German-American, Ireland must be heaven, cause my mother came from there. Ireland must be heaven for an angel came from there I never knew a living soul when half as a sweet or fair for her eyes are like the starlight and the white clouds match her hair sure After the success of these songs, Fred Fisher, both as a publisher and a songwriter, carried on the hit writer's road. Some of his contemporaries said, Ah, oh, this guy Fisher, he, he's got me bluffed. How come, Ed? Well, for the love of Mike, for a stat he can't talk our language. Well, why worry? Ah, oh, that's the trouble. While we guys sweat our brains out for new ideas... What happens? This Fisher fella turns out a melody like, I'm on my way to Mandalay. My way to Mandalay Beneath 
the sheltering palms you wander stray. Oh, let me live and love for a on that island far away. Your sentimental for your oriental love so sweet and gentle. That's why I'm on my way to Mandalay. I've come to say I'm sentimental for my oriental love, so sweet and gentle, that's why I'm on my way to Mandalay, I've come to say I'm on my way. Certainly that number, although somewhat similarly titled, has no relation to the Only Speaks Rudyard Kipling opus, was another Fred Fisher hit. Somehow he had what it takes in the art of landing a popular hit. And then came his biggest hit. One day, but let's tell just how it happened. Mr. Fisher. Miss mm, Schmidt, I tell you no interruptions. I tell you no annoyances. I tell you... Who wants to see me? I'm sorry. Do you are sorry? How you think I is? Uh, what is it? A songwriter. Uh, I know, a songwriter. He wants me publish his song. Don't he know there's a hundred other publishers in Tin and Pally? Yes, sir. This one, he won't go away. You tell him I'm in confidence. Yes, sir. I told him you were in conference, but... He says he doesn't care if he has to wait a week or so. A week or so. A week or so. What do you think I do? Burn the candle at both ends? And in the middle too? Oh, Mr. Fisher. Mm, send him in. Yes, sir. Uh, what is his name? He says it's Black. Johnny Black. Black. Uh, this is a black day for me. Yes, Mr. Fisher. Mr. Black, sir. You Fred Fisher? I'm Johnny Black. What so, Mr. Black? For an American who's lived here for quite a time, I think your English stinks. For dot, Mr. Block, I tell you. You tell me nothing. You see, I've got a new rhythm. You've got a new rhythm. You're telling me who come from the land and rhythm of Beethoven, Wagner. Yeah, you... brother, yeah. Keep your shirt on. I've already noticed that in some of your melodies. But I've got a new rhythm. You already say that. Second hunt. There is no new rhythm. What is it? I'm a man of few words. I'll play it to you. Prick your ears back like a horse and listen. What do you think, Fisher? All I hear is like a bark fuke gone wrong. That's what I expected, brother. And that's exactly the idea I got in mind. Remember Guno? 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 What has he got to do with it? Quite a lot, brother. If you know your melodies, and believe me you do, you'll recall that Guno used a Bach fugue as his accompaniment to his famous Ave Maria. Yeah, yeah, Guno did that. But what has it got to do with me, Fischer? You're going to do the same thing to my new rhythm. Write a melody to it. No! I will do anything of the soul. Oh, yes, you will, brother. Here we go. And from that weird interview, that great song Dardanella was born, and with it a sale of six and a half million copies, one of the biggest sellers of all time. Dominion. By the Dardanel 
girls with glowing eyes as she looks across the sea and sighs and weaves her spell so sirenian. Oh, I will return to Turkestan. I will ask for her heart and a hand. Dadanera, I love your harem eyes. I'm a lucky fella to capture such a prize. Oh, Anna knows my love for you, and he tells you to be true. Dadanera, oh, hear my song. Prepare the wedding wine There'll be one girl in my harem When you're mine We'll build a tent Just like the children of the Orient Oh, sweet Daranella my star of love divine. Fred Fisher's eventful existence ended in 1942. But his melodies, fortunately, are still with us. We'll call it curtains with a memory of another of his great hits, a tribute to the town he landed in from Germany 42 years before, Chicago. <laughs> Bottom dollar, you lose your blues in Chicago, Chicago, the town that Billy Sunday could not shut down. Oh, State Street, that great street, I just want to say, just want to say they do things they don't do on Broadway. Say, they have the time, the time of their life. I saw a man, he danced with his wife in Chicago, Chicago, my hometown. And so we conclude the Fred Fisher story and the memory of a composer who, even if he never mastered the English language, certainly mastered the art of turning out hits. The artists contributing to this episode were Beryl Walker, Kenrick Hudson, Michael Collins, Richard Davies, Eula Parker and her Parkettes, William Laird and his Melodians, and Max Blake. Your compere was John Morgan, orchestra and chorus under the baton of William Flynn. With a song in my heart was produced by Alfred Potter, and scripted and directed by Jack O'Hagan.